everywhere. They know this. <laughs> Don't have to score it up. Anytime today, Discord. Alright, let's go here. Here. Copy, paste, boom. I don't know which Twitch showed up in the bottom of that, but that's okay. And that should be fine. Why did it not consume that one? Consume. Damn it, I used a turret booster. Shield. Hard shell. Turret instead of... Observe... What? Whatever. Alright. I'll lead it. That's fine. Now I can still go get the observability. So it doesn't stack with that. I'm going to go grab it. I want it. If I had negatives on that shield, I would consider uh, dropping that. Let's try this again. Well, while that's going, okay, you go over here. With all the wrong things on for you. Let's go Twitch. Dashboard, Moobot, and in Moobot we want to go Giveaways, Manage, Archive that one, Create, Hashtag Hoard, Create, Announce that is open, you should be good there, and let's go Abyss, Login, Authorize. Probably click login again. No, it worked. Add run. There we go. Hey, Sorcerer, how's it going? Oh. Thought I brought uh, some darks with me, and I had not. That is okay. Excellent. Good to hear. I had a busy day, but uh, I've got a little bit of time for streaming, so let's take advantage of that. I ran a little bit of a bus today. You can see that I got some kills and stuff here. All right, what do we got? Tangling Kiki's that short range where this there. Oh, that's over there. That's not too bad of a spot. Let's go this way. Yeah, I triple boxed on stinking uh, the 15 inch laptop monitor. Because I'm insane. It doesn't help. I, far I farmed 20 billion isk over the weekend. And spent all of it. And spent another 25 billion on top of that. I now have 13 accounts. Oh. 
Are you webbing me? No, you're not. Good stuff. I am. I spent 9,000 plexus on the week. Uh, not quite, like just a shade under 9,000 plex. On various uh, three and six month Omega packs. It was well worth it on the weekend, though, I'll tell you. Okay, a lot of those Kikis hit me. Okay, we're good. So the reason I need that tang that those two tangling dead at the start. If these guys had started hitting me like that, and I did not have the tangling dead, and I got webbed, it is a world of hurt. So make sure those tangling die. I also want to start trying, uh, what is it, what is it? Uh, so, did I get egg on me? I think I got egg or something on me. <laughs> uh, whatever, okay. Uh, so I have been starting to work on mining since I have 13 accounts. Um, my current plan, they're all outlined at notepad, not even, not even afraid to share it. Like, what are you going to do? Come kill me? Anyone can do that. There's already going to be plenty of people lined up for that. So, my current plan is to mine Bez and Rack. That's Bez, Nadine, and Rakovine, I believe they are. Uh, one sec here. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to kill that renewing first, though. I'm just going to get these guys targeted up. Now, typically I hate mining, uh, but it actually doesn't seem as bad as it used to in some cases. Uh, let me go find the website. Uh, Eve Mining Celestis. Or Sir Lestes. Copy. That's this website here. Don't know if you do any mining or have heard of it. So more or less, it just gives you a, a breakdown on what all the ore is worth, right? Uh, and looking at that, uh, Yitrium is the most valuable, followed by Bez, Bezdnacine and Rakavine. And then everything else is a fair bit lower than those. Well, not necessarily a fair bit, but a bit lower than those. So my current plan is to make a 15-person mining fleet uh, and yeet them out to Pockfin and mine. So the 15 is going to consist of... Give me one moment here. I have to make sure I don't die. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. Target. Target. Something about still running the abyss while I'm discussing mining. Uh, that. Open this. 111 million. Fairly average. Orbit that. Uh, hey, Jimmy Jabba. How's it going? So I'm going to have two defense cruisers. So I'm aiming to get 15, car uh, 15 accounts. Okay. Uh, it's going to be two defense cruisers. And I'm going to start it with 13 that I have now. Uh, one uh, porpoise with uh, ore compression. But I can always leave that ore compression in the station. Or I'm working on possibly pulling out a couple different things. Uh, so I'm looking at rapid light missile... Launcher Caracals. Uh, approximately 35 mil each. So I, I want it to be big enough that it's a deterrent, but not so big that it's going to, like, if I lose it, I'm going to lose a ton of esk. Uh, and then uh, currently, going to be, look, one second here. Approach, approach. Approach. Uh, 10 to 12 miners. Uh, aiming for prospects starting adventures. That is quite a few null charges and a speed cloud. Nobody loves you. Let's go this way. We're going to kill those entanglers first because we're closer than we care to be. Those null charges are definitely going to suck. This guy's going to work on null charges first. 
So that's the general composition that I'm going to aim for. Um, obviously, starting off when I, I don't have as much, uh, it will should work out to... It'll be more ventures than prospects. But obviously, as I get up and I make a little bit more with it, I can switch over. Now, the unfortunate part of this is... Is when is a good time to run the abyss? Who cares? It's always a good time to run the abyss. There's no bad time to run the abyss, right? But for this, this is a little worse to run on weekends when there's more people out and about. And it's a little worse to run uh, like during main times. Ooh, dual box abyss. That's always fun. If you can run one character, run one character. You run two characters, run two characters. You run three characters, run three characters. Still more null charge alive than I care for. But I seem to be weathering their newts a little bit better. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Good. Okay, where are you at? You're over there. So that's my goal there. Uh, I figure that with less than max skills, how much do you think I could earn mining with less than max skills on my miners? I, I have a ballpark idea of what I can probably make with this. Also, where did Karen go? Perfect, orbit 7500. Okay, you can shoot that, pop another booster, you can shoot that, you can shoot that. Why is that one not dead? No, ballpark, come on, guess. Throw out a random number that you think is probably too high for mining, uh, and that will probably be it. I'm estimating I can probably get uh, approximately 300 million per hour with a 500 million isk fleet. And you're like Loki, but that's less than you make now. It's less than I make now, but it's not less risk than I make now. Hey, Recon. And actually, if I stick it like 13, then I can always invite other people to come with me as well. Like, just a couple little spaces for people in my corporate alliance to go along. Hey, you want to go mine Pockfin? It's terribly dangerous and we might die, but you're probably going to live because I've got 13 other targets for them. So, DPS, DPS, my... Actually, I might put both the DPS on one side. I'm not sure yet. Or, I might put both DPS here my porpoise which is the most expensive here and everyone else over here the bigger problem i have is keeping them safe i think you have to make some safes and uh in the system and then use those to bounce around to if somebody comes in before i go to a station Oh yes, but I'm also doing planetary interaction on all of them. Nope, I'm going to Pockfin. So Besnadine and Rakavine, or whatever they're called. So they're going to be skill farm plus PI plus mining. Let's say just turn them all into Fashion Warfare characters and go sit in Fashion Warfare space. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, currently, it's 13 times 3, so it's not so bad, but... Yeah, no, it's like 39 characters. You could probably shoot something. You could probably shoot something. And you can shoot this other thing. Uh, approach transfer. Yep, you're shooting. Okay. 
Uh, for what? Okay, that's kind of bullshit. 47 million? Really? Do they not know this is tier 6? Deviant orbit at 70. Uh, 10 is fine. 10 is fine. There actually is not a lot of Ember Lance in here either. And Ember Lance is one of the better ones for me to get, so I'm not super worried about them. And they're already going down, so that makes them easier to just punch through. Uh, snares? Two snares. Project complete. I don't know what the project was, but that's okay. It's completed. What was the project? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's alright. Let's pay attention to killing things. Not being distracted by corporation. That guy and that guy, you're already shooting that guy. Uh, you can go for the snare casters and the plate forger. Actually, I really want to kill those plate forgers. Not that it makes a ton of sense, but uh, please, dad, okay. Uh, you target these guys, you target these guys. Another snare caster, Amber Lance, this thing. I mean, to be fair, look at what I'm doing now. Please, like, my, my fingers already don't love me. It's okay. And 87 million. That was one of the worst ones I've seen in a while, but that's all right. I'll get over it eventually. And last one dead. Let's activate that. And that. And that. Let's see if anyone's killed this yet. Nope. Not to mention I ran a ridiculous number of these over the weekend. Okay, open fleet. Uh, grab that. Stack all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Copy. 246 million. Odd. Oh, 15. I'm saying 15. I didn't look close enough, but I know it was less than 15. Save and return, drag that over to there. Let's go over here, Cataclysmic Dark. And activate for fleet. Hey Remy, how you doing tonight? So, I think I've decided that I'm willing to spend, uh, that I'm willing to get skill injectors to progress my PI to max and what was the other thing, and to work on a minor per count. Uh, but that is it. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because I don't want to be, you know, farming PI, but then spending on skill injectors. It doesn't make sense. It's a terrible way to do things. But those are skills that if I get further along, it will pay off in the long run, so it's worth doing for those ones. Um, is how I'm justifying it to myself, anyway. Let's try to go this way, see if we can get under that cloud. Uh, no snare casters, which is kind of weird, but I get to go full wholesale murder hobo on these, uh, fog casters and gaze dimmers. Uh, shoot that, shoot that. Uh, 
Uh, also, Warpwinder, if you're still here, please show me your math on how characters cost that much. Uh, for 83.3 million a day. Show your work. Uh, so, I mean, to be fair, all of it really is, as long as you can find a, uh, a good enough space to do it, right? So, Null and Wormhole Space are obviously the best ones for PI. Uh, they have the most resources. So, but any PI that you can get going, uh, even if it's... I, I haven't done high sec. I can't really say for high sec. I, I think manufacturing is big there. But uh, as long as the taxes are reasonable, then you can make a fair bit off of any kind of PI, really. So more or less, once you get PI set up, there's no other cost to it, and it's not that expensive to set up. Maybe like 10 million a planet, okay? And if we take a look at, say, coolant, I can pump out coolant all day long. It makes me 13,000 per unit that I pump out. And it'll make like 3,000 units in two weeks or more. There's that, too. I, I've remapped. Uh, I'm not willing to put plus fives in them. Those are too expensive for my taste, because they're also going to be going out and doing... Oh, I don't want to go right at him. Uh, they're also going to be going out and doing uh, PI, so it's not a high-risk thing. I can have defenses for it, but it does make... The, it makes them have a chance of dying. Uh, what I... I, I kind of made a couple... Well, not really mistakes. Mistakes might be too harsh a word. Uh, but some of them have different skills going through. So, uh, on that, you know, I, I might want, I'll, I might have to remap them all into the same thing and give them, here, this is cheap, go run this. But we'll see how that goes. Alright, uh, so, uh, Warp, I want you to change that price to, uh, 2100 Plex per six months. Uh, so that's per account, but uh, you don't divide that number. That's you just say per account because you're still not going to run any more than one character at a time, right? That just means that I don't need to make as much in PI to to have them paid off a bit. However, the the sales are currently done, and this is a terrible idea. I should not have done this. Uh, however, uh, six months Omega, twenty one hundred for six months. My normal price that I pay is not above that. Uh, I want you to stop shooting for a minute so you can kill this dude. So that works out to three fifty times. I think you're doing 500 times 5, were you not? 2.5, 2.5, so 350 times 5, more like 1750. Mill. Riker, how you doing? Let's not get too far away from him now. Yeah, I know. It would be. Uh, what's today? T is, yeah, Tuesday? I knew it was going to be gone today. Just the way they put the... Like, the, what did they do? They had something going that just screamed that it was going to be finishing today. But I can't remember exactly what it was. So, 1.75 billion... Uh, instead of what you're using, simply because I'm never going to pay less than that. So that works out to divided by 30, 58 a day instead of 83. So fairly, fairly deep cut on that. Not quite the six minute mark. Let's 
Let's just go up a little bit. Nice. Uh, I did fi fi uh, uh, I did figure out that uh, oh sorcerer right now actually no not even right now uh, last time I picked up my PI uh, I picked up approximately I think I sold seven and a half billion from two weeks of PI keeping in mind that a lot of those characters have pretty close to max PI skills right could be a little bit behind on time on this, and I don't like that. It is a lot of characters, but you don't have to do it on that many characters either. Uh, I have not. Actually, that's actually a lie. Yes, I have. It's been quite a while. Uh, I've, I've also tried scamming once upon a time. It's just been a while since I've done those. I think I actually still have some of the ships that I used when I tried to gank. Uh, yes, I'm definitely down about 50 seconds. Please don't be in the long room. Thank you. Okay, so none of this looks super terrible. Let's go over... Yeah, let's go this way, whatever. Uh, lots of wardens. One fire watcher, you can kill the preserve. Oh my god, that's quite a few preservers. And a sentinel. Woo! I, I ended up using it too. I'm like, yay, I need this. I'm going to sell it. And I looked at the price and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to unlock a couple of these guys. I'm going to regroup my dudes because I forgot to. And then I'm going to target up some more preservers because they're actually doing a little bit of repping here. I don't like it. Oh my god. After I missed like that last click over on that other draw, I'm like, son of a bitch, I'd better win something on that. That thing was so damn close. I don't know how it didn't click over for my name on that. Hey, Ribbit, how's it going? I've bought three or four. People buy them. Uh, the, the biggest thing that officer mods are used for are super capitals and titans. So if it's something that would benefit one of those, or benefit like uh, a faction, one of the new faction, uh, not faction, the, the two new T2 ones that are coming out, or faction ones, or whichever, it, it, if it has a use, people will buy it. Uh, contracts are probably better, to be fair. You put them up on contracts for longer, not pay as much in fees, and uh, bounce them around on that. Although I bought them off, people buy them off the market in Jita. You're just paying taxes, which sucks. I have rolled a couple officer mods. Okay, got that one. Let's shoot the upholder on you, the warden on you, and this on you. We're definitely making up time, I'm pretty sure. And that's skills, and they actually just cut that too. So 135, so we're sitting at fairly average on this one. Last one was, I had a, like a 50 mil room. It's like, it's less than half of average. It's terrible. Made me cry a little bit on the inside. And you can also, um, like, haggle and discuss it on forums too, like... Hey, I have this for sale. I'd like to sell it for a reasonable but fair price. But I don't want to deal with the market in Jita, and people will understand. And, you know, someone might go and look at the Jita price, and it's like $3.5 and they'll be like, Hey, 
How about three billion? And you'll be like, sure, because I want it sold. Even if you go and you like half the sell and the buy, usually somebody will buy it to flip it and make a profit. And there's nothing wrong on either side of that. I've definitely played that game with other things. Mutaplasmids, those can be a pain in the ass to sell. Like the capital ones? Okay, so we are up a minute 40 now, so we made really good time on that one. Oh, yes, I love these. Uh, arrester, drainer, so we're going to kill the drain. Oh, do I want to go right in? Bad idea time. Woo! Okay, so let's orbit this at that. This arrester has to die. This drainer has to die. This drainer has to die. Pop. Might have been a bad idea, but we're going to pop this in just a second here right there drain uh, regroup by the way oh hey I didn't lose my cap that's fantastic the drainer marshal's dead everybody hey drainer marshal's dead today orbit this guy at 5,000 we're gonna kill all these little guys and laugh the rest of the day Loki, why are you laughing the rest of the day? Here, you watch that attacker, Marshal. I'm not going to shoot him. Uh, is it possible to run level 5 Abyss with alpha accounts? Uh, yes, but you should not. If you can afford to run level 5 Abyss with an Alpha account, the ship you would be using would be worth more than it would cost to Omega. <coughs> and also, that's very true. Sometimes you, you just want the ESC. It's great now. It's great now. See? Bell knows. <laughs> Bell knows what that's about. So, I haven't shot this attacker, Marshal, and it's almost dead. And that is thanks to Mr. Thunderchild here. We are going to start shooting because he's going to kill that guy. I'm going to orbit this at 500. So people can run tier 6 in a Gila, okay? Uh, and you can always use faction mods instead of uh, T2 mods. So you can bling the shit out of it. Plus, you can roll things to make it better, which is how some people run tier 6 stuff. Uh, 113, so this is a fairly average run, a little under, but really not enough that I care that it's under. Shoot that, shoot that, shoot that, loot that, thank you. Orbit that. I like focusing these uh, Teslas here. Skybreaker, Skybreaker, Skybreaker. It does. The only issue is that uh, dual box and triple box, there's no faction versions that you can run them with. They're all T2, T3, and all of those require Omega. That being said, you could take in... Would I recommend it really, though? You could take in a Jackdaw and then something, another uh, destroyer that's tankier. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of tankier destroyers. So it's like, mm, it would be worth it to even try. Okay, so that's Origin. So look, I looked at the time 1545. 1545. Everybody's reloaded. Let's go over here. Let's stack this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Copy, 344 in 1545. 1545. Boop. Save and return. This guy, this guy. We're going to grab three more Cat of Darks. Activate for fleet. Okay, I'm on the right guy there. Well, that's the other thing. If, if you so, if you can run one account, run one account. If you can run two, jackdaws, uh, draugers. Uh, I think that's the only two for that, though. Unfortunately, <coughs> draugers take a bit of learning, but I don't think they're actually too bad if you don't mind spending a little bit of disc on them. Uh, and if you run three accounts, you got a few more options. You got Nurgles, you got Hawks, you got Retributions, you got Deacons, like, and kind of pick your choice there. Also, Snarecaster is bad. So we'll be killing these four first. But, like, the other thing is, is... If you're not doing throwaway fits, I, I know people like the throwaway fits to understand them, but you pretty well need max skills for throwaways. They can still make you a bucket of isp running 50 million esque ships, but you still want, like, really good skills with them. Uh, but the other thing is, is if you run mine, for example, you don't have to run throwaways, and you can work your way up, which is the big difference. You know... If you sit doing tier fours with three hawks, that's not no isk. There, that's still like good isk. It's you can blitz through it. It's not that hard. It's very survivable. You do still have to watch out. You won't live all of the time. Something will get you, because unfortunately with these things, all it takes is yeet cloud that you're not watching out for, or that you don't see on a character. Why does it look like there's yeet cloud in front of us? Anyway. Keep an eye out for it. And some, that's all it takes is something like that to kill you, right? Or you hit three of this room and you take a little too long on one of them and you don't finish in time. Stuff like that. Uh, well, actually, no. That won't happen in Tier 4. Tier 4, you'll be fine. I, I don't come anywhere close to timing out in Tier 5, so. But you can run lower tiers and work your way up. And, uh, like... I have a th over a thousand tier fours, and that's because tier fours are worth running. Like, they are not garbage loot. And the other thing that a lot of people uh, underestimate, and it's one of the reasons why I like the Hawks over some of the cruisers. Uh, is that, <laughs> I know, my tier zeros are terrible. Uh, you can do it with all tabbing. It's obviously more difficult, but it is absolutely doable. Um, oh, damn, I lost my train of thought. Something, something. Now oh, come back to me. All right, no, that's what it was. Uh, people who run cruisers, they don't always have spare ships, okay? Um... I have spare ships running frigates. And by spare ships, I mean I have spare ships, okay? Yes, uh, so tier 4 is 100 mil, might be a little less than that, but uh, that sounds fairly accurate. I usually think tier 5 is 100, so I think tier 4 might, I would think it would be less, but I could be wrong. It's been a while since I really ran them regularly. But even, let's say it's even 75. I, I usually go 75, 150, 350. Let's say 75. So you get 75 per average in uh, tier 4. You run 3 and a ship is paid off for. That takes you 35 minutes. You run, you know, 9. All 3 ships are paid off for. That takes you, you know, an hour and a half. I like being able to pay off ships that fast. Now, that's a cheaper version, not running the Navy Ballistics. You're not a Navy Ballistic. Anyway, I want to talk about it. 
My DPS are running Navy Ballistics. This guy should be. Where are your cap boosters? Five. That'll, that'll do. I'm going to need to give him more. Hello. Now, I can usually run four to five T5s in an hour. So, if you had the same skills as I do, which, let's be honest, you should be going for max skills eventually. Uh, you should be able to get at least five to six tier fours. And if you get five done at 75 million a hit, well, that'll do. 375 million? Okay. He's reloading. Just like that blue looking cloud up there. Reloading. Uh, we're just past the five minute mark. My little girl is not happy to be going to bed. She's super tired though, she did not have a nap. Okay, so the thing I don't like about these guys is they have resistances all the way through. The Benth, uh, he is the Benthic. Yeah, the Benthic has that. The Deep Watchers don't. Nice thing about Deep Watchers, once you get through their armor, oh, they so squishy. There you are. Nope, too soon. Abort! Abort! Shit. Could actually be a problem. Okay, he's out of the cloud. We're good. So that's unfortunate. I just cannot get to that cache before he is dead. I could if he switched to this guy. That would be the only way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, we can go up this way. We're good. That'll get us closer, at least. Oof, I'm already over time, too. If I get another one of those, I'm going to have to overheat. Okay, activate gate, activate gate. This guy's going to have to catch up. I'll know what's in the next room before you guys, just so you're aware. 72. All that for 72, eh? Okay, so they didn't get that far ahead. What do we got? We have... I should be okay with angels, even though I wouldn't be super... Oh, track effects. I can't even shoot the Drakovics first. Four of them. All right. Tangling Kiki. Uh, so there's a starving Vedmac. I normally like to kill them, but I'm not going to work on him right now. Okay, one more cycle. Thirty percent, thirty-three percent. That's reasonable. Uh, 
I don't really need Cat Booster for him, but he's got lots of them. How many more do you have? You're the one who needs more, actually. He still has 15 left, so let's not feel sorry for him. Uh, heat is still fairly high. As in 40s high. Kiki's are primarily going to shoot this dude. Because he is the first one to move. Oddly enough, this is not the worst I've seen. I think we'll be fine on time at the end of it. Drekovics are just definitely one of the, the more time-intensive ones you can get. Ghost and Kiki's next. Guy with all the cap boosters is still the one being neutered. I have. It's not lately, but I have. I tried it like quite a while ago. I remember it was called Eve Mon, I think it was. Hundred million on that one, orbit this thing at a thousand. Might take a little bit of damage here, that's okay. There are four Kikis here still. Uh, I don't think there's anything I want to overheat on in here, so I think we're alright on that. But we'll keep an eye out just in case. One, two. Okay, I really want to kill that starving, but I can't not shoot things I already have targeted, so he'll be after this guy. Eight twenty, so we have about a minute forty for these guys that are left. Five guys, minute forty. It's not bad. <laughs> She's asleep. Yeah, that was quick. Yep. <laughs> Cranky, but quick. She didn't want to be alone, so I just sat beside her and then she fell asleep. <laughs> it's quite Weird. Two of my guys had lower shield than I was ex or lower cap than I was expecting. I don't know why. I'm not super concerned about it though. Okay, so we're gonna make time on this for sure, but we're gonna be really close to the time limit because I have to reload before I can kill that Damovic. But we're not gonna re-reload after that. We're just gonna go through. I'm going to have one guy shoot the Kiki, and the other two shoot the Damovic. So I don't have to switch targets, which makes sense since it's now dead. Pretty well right on time. Ramming speed! Hey, and see how's it go. Oh, there we go. That will do. Giant blue cloud. Let's go hug that. Please fly into my missiles. It's the worst that could happen. snare caster it's 
So here's the thing, you can really get hit when you're in a uh, blue cloud, but they can also really get hit when they're in a blue cloud. So sometimes it's worthwhile to use that trade-off and to sit in a blue cloud and let them take more damage. Uh, I usually only use it for these frigates if they're ones that aren't too threatening or fast. Blast Lance is a bad idea. Uh, however, and especially as a, a cruiser, it's fantastic. Ah, uh, yes, Snace is a fantastic ship, but you still have to use your normal precautions. Or you can still get blown up. Because the problem is, is now everyone knows that the Synesis is a fantastic ship for that. Ooh. How'd your flatboats go? Shoot. Approach that, open that. Eh, you know what, making decent time on that. Ooh. Might be getting it close. 115. Everybody shot the one with low hit points. Okay, so this is 16 and a half minutes there. Approach. 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 Fleet hanger. Let's go here. Stack 16 and a half minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. 287, jeez, these are bad. Uh, 16, 30, paste, save, over here. Uh, how many do I have now? Five, I want five more 400s. Let's go back to here. Cat of darks, three of those, thank you. Stack. And let's take you. Okay, so ideally, I want to get the first room done in about four to five minutes. See what I get. May or may not work. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're whitelisted here, but if you're not, let me know in a second and I'll make sure you are after that. <laughs> Try it. It'll, it'll just temp ban you at worst. Okay, so that lookout needs to die first. Let's go here and shoot those. Don't have any of those, don't have any of those. So let's go Smiths and Torchbearers for you. One and two, uh, not targeting one yet. Shoot that guy, medium deviant, not a short range, so we're good on that. Anything I'd recognize? Geckos, that's quite a few geckos actually. Shoot that guy. Okay, so it doesn't look like I'm going to have boosters to the last room, which is okay. Uh, it's nice to have boosters to the last room, but it's not a prerequisite to have boosters to the last room. I mean, you have to do it every once in a while, right? Oh, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six is all it is for that and I'm pretty sure you can easily change them. One second here. Uh, I'm not going straight that way. Uh, I'm just going to keep going this way a little bit longer I think. Oop, nope, get back there. Uh, and you have to go into your overview and put tags on. So if you go in here uh, overview settings there is a way too close to that. Uh, there is a thing to change columns in here that lets you put tabs on there if you don't already have them. Shoot 
that, shoot that, shoot that. Uh, appearance. Oh, no, tabs, right there. So you can click on different tabs. Uh, is that the one? Anyway, somebody I'm sure can explain it. There we go. Thank you, Anis here. We're going to start approaching that. Shoot that guy. Now let's finish up. No, you can start. We can start going after these two. You have to watch out for the short range ones of these. They will destroy your missiles and can cause problems. Obviously, these are not short range. These are medium, so we're all right there. Uh, so yeah, the tab you want is tag. And that'll make it so that you can see the tags. And for that, you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six. And you should be able to change those under shortcuts. Something under here. Tag item as. So you can add more on there too, which I'm very tempted to do. Uh, I do not, but I know there's a number that do it. Somebody might be able to point you in the right direction. Ooh, nice. I just saw the Guild Wars uh, 2 expansion thing. Okay, now the big question is how much time do I have left on boosters? Three minutes? Perfect. I wasn't expecting to get to the last room with boosters, but I was hoping I would get to this one with it. Okay, so this one's not too bad. It's kind of a shame because this is a room I could definitely do without boosters. Maybe. I'm going to put two on the Sentinel and one on those two Null Charge. Okay, I'm out of the cloud. That's kind of an important thing. Don't like speed clouds. Okay, let's go. You can get a couple upholders. You can get the Watchman and a couple upholders. And you can get all of those Scyllas. Okay, biggest newts down. One of the other newts is about to go down. And that leaves this null charge as the last one. Once the newts are dead, these guys are pretty safe. Actually, that's true, I think, in almost all of these. Still have to watch Karen and uh, Endobenthic, but... Those two generally aren't my biggest concerns either. Okay, yours is almost dead. Yours is getting close to dead. Where's this at? Should be able to get to that. These are all cruisers, so I should I can still hit them even if I'm in the speed cloud. Frigates you don't want to do that with. This might not be in the speed cloud anyway. I think it is though. And we can see some speed cloud over there, that's for sure. But we're just going to fly back up this way. If we hit the speed cloud there. Or, well actually the gate's there. We'll fly down this way and we'll just drop a can or something. Nope, not the gate. And sometimes it can look like this and you won't hit the cloud. It's odd and annoying, but it's the way it is. I haven't hit the cloud. Uh, 162, there we go, a little bit better there. Sitting a lot of those rooms earlier, just not right now. Okay, we got here. Exotic, uh, yeah, Misan Plasma. 
jettison, yes. Gives us just a little something to orbit so we keep movement. And we finish off these guys. Oh, boosters are not done yet, eh? How long? Yeah, they will be. Now, the reason why I'm actually happy my boosters are going to be ending instead of having like 20 seconds left, 20 seconds left is not going to help you in the next room. Uh, but with them ending, it means that I can get ready to pop new ones if I need them. Uh, but that if I don't need them, I don't have to. And them being ended means that I can and I'm not like trying to scramble to do it and overheat things while I'm being shot at by a symbol. When I first go in, I can kind of stop, take a half a minute, pop the boosters, and then go and do the room. I just have to have the window open, so I can right-click and go consume. Okay, approach transfer, approach transfer, approach transfer, and reloading. Okay, so we're going to get ready to stop here in case it is a uh, cinnable room. Nope, fairly easy room. Don't need boosters, the extra boosters for it. I will be all right. So let's go this way. Let's go one, two, three, four. Regroup my guys over to me. Looks like some speed clouds in here. That could be a problem. We're just going to go away from them. Then it'll be less of a problem. Oh, you lost your target, eh? Not for long. There we go. Uh, and then we have a Sentinel that we're all just going to gang up on and kill after those. And we do have null charges that we're going to have to get after that. Cap is optional sometimes in these. I do like my alts having cap though. It's easier for me to track my main if he doesn't. Scylla, you should have those targeted as well. Let's go up Scylla and Scylla. Okay, so we only have the two left. This is through a bit of a white cloud, even though I can go into it. I'm not a huge fan of them. Let's go one, one, two, two, and three, three. You're gonna get those, you're gonna get those, you're gonna get those. Null charge are dying. You can start on yours. Okay, and this is the last room, and it's going to be one of our faster clears, too. Okay, you're going to take a break from shooting that for a second. Why don't you pop that for me? And let's approach that, shoot that guy.
<laughs> are you're not max trained for it, are you? Because that would be quite a few uh, market options. That guy there has all of those trained. What was he missing? Mm -hmm. Skills. Uh, trade. He is missing. Advanced contracting. And customs code expertise. Don't use all my contracts. And the PI I do is in uh, is with friendly things, so it's already zero. Did I accidentally turn one off instead of turning one on there? Okay. Still gonna have one of these guys, Joe. You're done yours. Origin time on that one was thirteen forty five. And let's go station dock thirteen forty five. Stack that six copy. Here, 1345, paste, save that. Now, a little more than an hour on that, that's fine. Trade this over to this character who holds all of my stuff for me. Except you have to move some other stuff over. Okay, so did not do that yet. So let's go over here. Eve Prazel, enter, and then go here. Stack this, take off that, that, and cat it darks. Paste, submit. Here is that hour. With a little bit longer, but not too much. Drag that over to item hanger. Stack that there for later. Uh, yeah, we're good for now. That can go there. Repair all, yes. Oh, right, you do all have to repair, don't you? Okay, so first let's go over to this. Move bot. Giveaways. Create a giveaway. Hashtag hourly. Hashtag hourly. Create. And that's that. There you go. You have a couple moments to get into that draw. Uh, we're going to drop this off. We don't need that. We need Scourge 2000. Hashtag hourly get in on a 100 million isk draw. Make sure I repair you guys. Repair quip. Yep. Repair quip. Yep. There we go. You are going to need 3,000 scourge missiles. Why did you have less? Make that a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah, you're going to need cap boosters as well. Max those out. You are going to need Scourge 2000. Zayte, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Scourge boost cat. There we go. Few cat of darks on you and four hundreds. You can mostly fill up on those. Ten and let's go here. There we go. So all those guys are restocked. 
Uh, I will be back in a moment. I just have to run to the washroom and take my little hourly break that I usually do. I'll leave you with a couple minutes of ads because I'm not going to be here, so I may as well. That's usually how I see it. It does help the stream out a little bit, so woo! And I will be back in a few moments. I am not political in Eve. I will shoot everybody. Sometimes even the people in my core. That's a different story. It's not in an AWOXing way. I will pay their losses. But if it's funny, I will shoot them. All right. <laughs> okay, so just do quick double check here. Boosters, stuff, stuff, boosters, stuff, stuff. Oh, also, I might actually start some mining fleets. It's kind of weird, but uh, I have a plan for those. Streaming them is probably not my best idea, but, uh, I mean, that's never really stopped me before, so I'll probably do it anyway. Uh, and let's go. Let's make sure nobody's still damaged. We're good on that. Okay. 
Okay, so let's leave here. Might end a little early. I'll still give you the extra draw if that's the case, as long as I remember. Please remind me. Uh, but it's just been a long day for me today, so may take a break a little bit earlier. I still might I probably still run the better part of three hours. It's not quite three hours. I also have to get my stuff ready for work. All right, uh, cap, nothing. He's the main one that I care about. And turret. Well, you know what? None of those are gonna affect my DPS, so let's go. Uh, I'm gonna do the hourly right quick before I do. One moment, please. This one, this one. Uh, close, announce, close, draw, announced winner. Remy, congratulations. You luck sack. Do, 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 do copy over to you. You don't have this right now, do you? So you are going to give him uh, 250, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'll send more if I need it. Fleet, paste, autolink character. I don't know how long this stays here if I don't go in it, by the way. 100 million, there we go. you and then here we can go over to this there we go <laughs> oh god i mean to be fair it wouldn't have surprised me that much if you had blown him up it's like this is eve stuff like that just happens in eve it's like guys guys stop shoot stop shooting me guys guys you're shooting me guys and it's like he -he 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 -he. Boom! And it's like, here you go. Here's a new ship. We're not really sorry we killed you, though. It was kind of funny. That's, that's just how Eve works in a nutshell. Okay, everyone's got all of their stuff. Ooh, that's a lot of nice red cloud there. He's going to suck in the red cloud, but that's okay. He's not really being shot at either. Problem is, is it looks like there's a whole... Nope whole lot of that speed cloud where I just don't want it. This way it should be fine. Somehow all of my guys have managed to target a bunch of things and none of them targeted the same one that somebody else was shooting. Oh wait, you two were, were you two shooting the same one? Yes, you were. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Not mean to shoot the same one with two of them. I just like E clouds. They have their uses, but they're definitely much, much more dangerous than they are useful in this. Loki, what uses are there for E clouds? You can yeet these guys out of the abyss. It's not necessarily recommended, but it is possible. We get a, a reasonable opportunity to, then I will show you. But usually, uh, it's not reasonable. You're shooting a strike, and you are shooting a blast. Okay, I swear they've been shooting the same ones. So are people going through the trouble of killing small structures for that 100 million core that drops out of it? Or is it still too annoying to like really bother with that? Asking for a friend.
ship. One fifteen. I did not notice that deviant. Definitely destroyed a couple missiles. We're gonna get away from it. Well then it Nullsec just isn't worth it though. That's the problem. I need to go to low sec. Not thinking about mining, you're thinking about mining. I'm definitely not thinking about mining. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure you love mining. Watched you play a game and it was nothing but mining once. Was it Steamroll Dig? Because <laughs> there's mining in that. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the one I was thinking of might have been, uh, oh, what is it? <sighs> oh, was it Slinky? No, it was that harvesting one where you like build machines and stuff. No. So no, it was, it was almost. What? Well, okay, there's my. Did you say there was no. You have not played enough Stardew Valley to talk about this. That's true. It's just. I like it, but it makes me very sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you should play before bed. Mm. Conduit, conduit, conduit. Okay, so. Five minutes there, that's not bad. Lots of extra time. Oh, there we go. Oh, was it the game with the dwarves we played? No. Oh. That is another mining one, though. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> that one was a good one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Deep Rock Galactic. Yes. Yeah. No, it was a cheesy little indie one from Humble Bundle. Okay. Hey, Okax, how you doing, Icon? To watch my shield on this one because there's still a lot of those DPSers alive. But I have, I can overheat and I can pop my ADC if I need to. So we are fine, but don't underestimate the frigates. If you underestimate these guys, they will kill you when you're not expecting it. Personally, I prefer to kill the DPS first. I feel like there's a snare caster, but do you think I can see a snare caster? Weird. issue there. Oh man, Icon. I made 1.2 billion and that's with shitty drops in the last uh, hour there. To be fair though, I've had some really good drops on the weekend, so I, I can't complain that much. 171, there we go. That'll help. And then there's the other problem. Almost out of tier 6, and I'm not sure I'm willing to pay for more of them. <coughs> I'm, I probably might switch to Nurgles for a bit. Eat up some of those cheap filaments. God knows I've got like 4,000 of them. Oh! Nope, wrong one. 
back here a little further this way. Uh, I'm in a cloud and I don't want to be. Nurgles! Nurgles are much more challenging, but at the same time, something there's just something nice about every single filament that drops is more valuable than the one you're running. Except for the one you're running, but... I worked it out and technically they should be about the same amount of esc for t5 fires as t6 darks uh, but if you just if you run these right these are definitely more but the math checks out but that's because even if I make 1.2 billion with four runs this actually only like 800 million after you pull out the cost of the filaments, right? actually started shooting me yet. They take a while before they target you. There they go. Might have to load firework launchers on these. Dude could get free SP if he had a fireworks launcher. Rock, no, how you doing, buddy? This one went pretty quick. Yeah, I had a busy day today. I might uh, pop out a few minutes early so I can get my stuff ready for work, actually. And just have a rest. Definitely don't regret getting this in because I do enjoy this for sure. Spleen, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> nice. I usually use shelves that don't go on the wall, but then again, I'm currently in an apartment, so I don't want to put too much stuff on the walls anyway. Although we are looking at buying a place, but uh, because we, we have a... So housing is stupid, stupid competitive here right now. Uh, like renting and buying. 
So fortunately, we're in a position where we can take our time to buy. Like, we, we can look around and put offers in, and they can be reasonable offers because we have a place to live. Uh, so I'm like, all right, so let's get our pre approval. Got our pre approval. I just have to wait till uh, I can give them a, a uh, what, what do you call it? Print out of how much I make, not T4s, but uh, the month to month one. Uh, and I'm waiting for next month for that because it should be a little higher. And after that, I should be able to get my pre-approval letter done up and should be ready for that. That should be good. And then me and Bella are going to look at places and we're going to be like, hmm, needs this work, needs this, needs that, doesn't need this, doesn't need that. We think it's worth this much. And if they say no, you know what? I still have a place to live, so, and I'm still on a lease. I can pay to get out of the lease, but if I don't have to, that's okay too. I know, right? Because when we were looking at places when we were moving here, we're like, oh, we could get this place, but we have to redo wiring, and we have to redo this, and we have to redo that. We kind of just didn't want to. We just redid a bunch of shit at our other place before we sold it. So I'm like, oh, well, we don't have to do that right now, so it's kind of nice. Oh, yeah, we, that's happened here plenty, too. Uh, that was 15 minutes on the dot. Uh, 15.05. Pretty well on the dot. Okay, so we're going to flip and fleet hangar up here, stack. Nope, not invert, stack. One, two, three, four, five, five, yeah. Copy 401 million estimated over to here. Fifth, I'm just putting 15. Paste. Save this guy, this guy, grab darks. And there we go, good for the next one. <laughs> Actually, that's something we were considering too, Rock now, is just getting like, uh, not like a, a full contractor kind of thing to do it, but uh, like a mini, well, mini homes, they call them mini homes getting a, a mini home on one, but on its own plot of land, so it's not like uh, on a trailer court kind of thing. Because you don't want to pay, pay, well, I mean, you can pay the lot fees. They include a few things. If it's not too bad, it's all right. But uh, it's still nicer if it's on its own land. And a mini home on its own land is, is still much, much better than like a trailer in a trailer court. We could live with that, though. Well, yeah, but... We don't want to, but we could. <laughs> okay, so... One, one. Two, two. Three, three. But, I mean, the other thing you look at, too, is like, okay, paying this much for rent. If I did get a trailer and I could pay half of it off right away and only have to pay mortgage on half of it, how much am I paying for rent even with that? Oh, Six hundred dollars. Yeah, no, I can afford that. If it was a nice enough one, I think I'd be okay with it, but we'd still have to get inspected. Yeah. Okay, yours is nuding him. Uh, no short range here, so we're fine on that. Uh, it's alright if we go, if we dip into this thing, but... Nice. That's hard for the average person to do, though. Because I think that, I mean, if you have the, the money to do it, obviously it's fine. Uh, but if you don't, I think banks might not like, you know, like you have, you have to get insurance to do it right. And you have to get a bank loan, and the bank loan is 
uh, the, the, oh, they'll get a smaller, what you call it? Nope, that's it, not it. One moment, please. They won't give you as much of a mortgage to do a new build, I don't think, in case something goes wrong. So you need to have a, a higher payment up front. If I'm right, I could be wrong on that, though. And actually, that could be dependent on where you live, too. Something outside. Oh. <laughs> I think it was a person, but good job calling them a chicken. chicken. Yeah. You're a chicken. <laughs> One thirty six. Main. That's it, Rockno. Next time I come down, you're going to buy me a coffee. Rockno lives in Maine. Oh. Maine's really pretty. Went down to Boston, and uh, as we were, uh, we went through Maine, and as we were going, it's like. There was like one toll at one point, and then as you got like an hour or two hours away from Boston, it's like toll, 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 toll. It's like, jeez. Oh like, like, can you let me drive for an hour before you put another goddamn toll? Thank you. That's a quick room. Four minutes and fifteen seconds. Uh, Crypdis with a f uh, ooh with a fealties. I actually like the fealties ones. Do have a blue cloud starting off? I'm not a fan of, and a fair number of illuminators. And I can't tell where this blue cloud ends. I thought I would be out of it already. I gotcha. What's the capital of Maine again? Or where were we going in Maine? Huh? Where were we going? Where, what was the place we were looking at in Maine? Bangor. Bangor, Maine. Don't know if it's actually the capital or not. Just the capital to us, being Canadians. No, I think it's uh, like the port one. Um, Portland? Yeah, I think. Oh, no, that's not the capital. It has a really funny name, the capital. Um, Rock is going to quickly educate me, I'm pretty sure, and laugh at me for being Canadian. Oh, three and a half hours north of him. I'm probably killing too many of these fealties, so I'm going to switch over to the Charybdis in a moment here. Where are you? I don't like the things you're buying, actually. So we're going to keep going over this way. And you're going to start shooting Cryptus. Once you've done that one, you're going to start shooting... Uh, you're going to stop, actually, shooting and go for that now. I'll try to keep you in mind next time uh, I head that way. Three and a half hours is not a long drive for us. If there's shopping and restaurants, we're good. It was about uh, 10 for us to get to Boston. Mm, I still don't like going by that one guy. 
Let's go further down here. Uh, it was a little too cold for us to do that when we were down. I also lucked out because on like, by lucked out I mean I did not luck out, it was terrible luck. But like day two, Freya started getting sick and day three, Belle started getting sick. Yeah, that was not... So it's like, guess we'll stay inside and eat pizza, like... Here Freya, do you want to eat this? No? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we didn't eat pizza. We didn't Here Belle, do you want to eat this? Oh, I'm so sorry. Alright, let's just go home and drive straight through. I think in total we spent like one day exploring Boston. Yeah. And the rest of it. Oh, uh, okay. You know. Yeah, we, we got to spend one day exploring Boston and the rest, and then it's like, okay, we're going to hide in our hotel room and I'm going to go for a walk. And those two got sick and that was that. Yep. It's like, congratulations, we got sick for like the 50th time this year. The year isn't even half over. <coughs> I did pay $40 parking in uh, downtown Boston, though. Didn't realize Boston had a subway, and that's what I should have used. Oh, yeah. Next time. <coughs> because I... Th is it three Canadians? No. Probably four Canadian cities have subways. If I had to guess. Toronto does. Does Ottawa have subway? Yeah. I would bet Montreal probably does and Vancouver, but that's at a guess. Oh, it might just be buses. They have that train. Yeah, it's like the Metro. Yeah, 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 the uh, but we got to go to a market down there, and I'm really glad we did, because that's probably where we picked up the bug that got us sick. No, we probably, I think we picked it up earlier, actually. Yeah, I think, uh, but, uh, yeah, we think Freya might have gotten it from daycare. <laughs> but, uh, ooh, what have we here? Oh, Montreal has a subway. Yes, I said Montreal did. did no, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Right, okay. Would you like so to question me more about it? No. So, what's <laughs> Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver? Vancouver, Ottawa. Ottawa has, never mind Ottawa. Yeah, Ottawa happen? has that light rail system that doesn't work most of the time, and people are pissed about it. I hear so much complaining from reading articles and stuff about that. So much. Hey, what does Ottawa have for transit? Shut up! <laughs> it's like that sub, or not, uh, that uh, Simpsons episode where like they got sold on the train and. I don't know what it's like, oh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Alright, so getting webbed out of range of the Deviant, actually. I should be heading back that way. Uh, but most of these spark lamps are dead. There's still six of them. I have to watch it a little bit. Oh, I also came up on uh, how I'm going to spend skill injectors. Because I'm like, do I want skill injectors? Like, it, it seems a little bit contrary to be like, here's skill injectors for your characters. Now I'm going to pull skills out of these characters. But, there's a but. To get them into mining ships that I want, and fits. As well as, what was the other thing? Oh, uh, getting their planetary interaction skills up, which will give them more ISK. So I won't get them interplanetary 5, but I would be willing to get them up to command center 5. Uh, that'll also bring them up a bit quicker so that I can uh, train them up. So this is something that I slacked off on, and I, I could have just, like, biomass some characters and brought them back with more skill points than what they had, but... These are like 11 year old characters with fairly clean histories. So I didn't want to do that. 
so I kind of just left them, and I'm like, you know what? These characters are super old. I'm going to give them the life they never had. And those are now my characters. So, And I am up to, like, 39 of them. Did have to make a couple more, but yeah. Some of them are from the days when you could have only 50,000 ifs, or 50,000, 50,000 skill points starting out the game. Could you imagine? There's like, they have no skills. It's like, I go and buy skills, and it's like, how the fuck do you not have that? It's like, well, CCP never gave it to me. Uh, so that one was 13 minutes. this one two three four five copy 341 mm. 341 in 13 minutes over to this guy 13 paste save and return <coughs> open this up again Cat of Darks, three. Activate that. We are doing good on time. Usually I like about 12, 13 minutes left before I start the last one. Uh, but it's not too bad. Right now we're on a, we should be about 14, 15, even with it. This one's not bad either. Oh my god, look at the Sentinels, though. Okay, there are three ships that are not news. One, two, we're going to kill those. And then you guys are just going to go full murder on these Lucids. And try to keep them as far away as possible. Look at all those Lucid Sentinels. The nice thing is, is aside from this and these two that I can kill fairly quickly, I should be able to keep the rest at range. Like, I have to actually make sure I don't fly out of range on them. So, they probably won't get close enough for newts. There's no webs in here. Like, it's not a bad situation. That guy's the closest right now. Oh, the sill is nuding you. Okay, I'm like, what? what's in range that can nude you? It's like, oh, yes, the sill is actually in range. You're going to carefully fly this way. <coughs> Four sentinels left. That's not so bad. This guy does have newts on him. Uh, what are they newting for? 2142. You can handle that fairly well. Alright, so all the sentinels are being shot at now. And we're going to have two left in a moment. Once that's the case, I'll just go around this or this, and we'll call it a day.
Okay, open that. Shoot that. 287. <coughs> Two cat electrics. Hu unstable 100 MN. And a, well, that one doesn't worth much. So I want you to shoot the confuser. Nice drops. Some of you are on those electricals. that. Wasn't sure which you were going to kill yours first. Approach, approach, and approach. And I don't think they're going to, no, they're, well these guys might hit reload, you will definitely not. No, they're not. Reloads for everybody. Okay, we're good. I don't like endobanthics. I do like medium range deviants though. So we're going to try to get all these guys over here and we're going to kill these two gaze dimmers. We'll target up the endobanthic. Then we're going to laugh and laugh and laugh. These two guys are going to start shooting the endobanthic? Oh, you already have. Now, uh, which one's this one? There we go. I generally don't like having this many snare casters alive, but we're a little bit away from the endobenthic at the moment. And these guys are gonna are in between two separate uh, deviants. One moment he's changing targets, and I don't like it. Although that's even better for this guy, but still. That guy's webbed. Oh, he's quite webbed, actually. Okay, we're going to go this way. Shoot into Benthic. Okay, no more webs. See if he, oh, he got webbed again, but now he's traveling a bit more transversal. And he's out of range, so he's good. You have to watch Endobenthic, because this guy can one-shot Hawks. How are these two doing? Okay, everyone's close in now, so we're good. So in not having to shoot the frigates, you save a fair bit of time, actually. Uh, because it takes about uh, 15 to 20 missiles to kill all the frigates. And that adds up to a lot of damage on something like an endobenthic. Now, I was slacking off on this guy and didn't shoot as much as I should have. But my DPS had been on the endobenthic the whole time. Usually I'll get this guy to shoot at frigates because he has lower DPS because he has the ADC. Um, and the benefit of that 
is that uh, he isn't going to lose as much damage switching targets. Because every time you stop shooting something to shoot another target, even if you kill it, that's still time to switch targets and it costs DPS. As opposed to they shoot the same thing over and over and over again, there's no little gaps in time in that shooting, right? Because no matter how fast you press that F1, it's not going to be quite as fast as the server catches up to do it. Uh, where is it? Yeah, we're into that, so let's approach that. Not going to go straight for it. We still need to stay within 47 or so. Um, I mean, it might work out that way. I expect to be getting out of range a little bit quicker than this. Okay, uh, those two are reloading. million on the dot there. There we go. Reload, reload, reload. Activate, activate, activate. So that one had 100 million, which is a little under, but obviously the first room was fantastic. So we're good. Not even worried about a little. If you have not yet entered into my main draw for the uh, at the end of the night, please enter it now. Uh, I can't win it. You also don't get anything extra for me winning it. I'm, I'm not going to tempo. Eat it. Um, easy room? Easy room. Ooh, speed clouds. Let's avoid those. Um, if you're not here at the end of the night for the draw, that's okay. You can, you will still win it. Uh, I'll random a number for you. It's not as smooth or as nice, but you know what? Uh, I understand that you guys have jobs and kids and stuff like that, and that you cannot be here the whole time. Of course you can, Drago. Go ahead. Uh, so you still win the prize. As long as you enter and you win. That's it. Okay, so that guy's dying there. Those are going well there. Do I want to pop that yet? Yes. Because this one does have the webs in it. Sentinel, Sentinel, Sentinel. <laughs> uh, so what I'm doing is I'm running three different accounts in Abyssal Dead Space uh, to get that juicy three times loot uh, and to get that juicy T6 loot. So I'm getting a crap ton of Esk. More than the average Yogi Bear. Okay, we're gonna get the Upholder and Sentinels, or Sentinels. Uh, webs after that. All right, uh, so the easiest, what uh, level mission is it? Not gonna lie, the easiest thing to do is just Google it. There's plenty of things that have every single mission ever created are in there. It's probably going to be uh, along the lines of you need a data hacker for it, which it should say in the mission that you require that. Uh, level two survey rendezvous. Uh, do you know what part of the chain you're on? Okay, it's not short range deviant, so we're not too concerned about that. Pop that. Pop that. Shoot that guy. Oh, I was going to do that. And it's your post to the exact same thing I looked up. 
Gate not locked. Hackable container. So yeah, you need a uh, data module probably for that one. Those guys, that guys, that guy. But more or less, uh, Eve Uni there, they will have every single mission in existence for you. Uh, look the stuff up on the website and it'll make everything a cinch. So the watchman's being shot. Drago, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful night. Running your level two missions. Shoot that guy. Grab that. No, not set name. Open cargo. Another hundred right on the dot. What the hell? CCP. Even if you search the mission name and the uh, other thing there, it'll, it'll usually find it for you. Crap, I did not check the time. How much time do I have left on that? It was 15 minutes. Approach there, approach there. I just make sure I have all the booster, or yeah, the cap boosters I need. Stack that. Two, three, four, five. Copy 488 million, damn it. 488 million in 15 minutes. That. Copy over to there. You have enough cap boosters. 15 minutes. Paste. Save. Flex. Uh, you're good. And how are you? You've got one. Alright, cool. So let's go this there. Activate you. And this will be the last one for the night, so make sure you get your name in for the Dragon Sword. You know what? I'm going to throw up an hour early up separately so that I hopefully remember it. Great giveaway. Hashtag hourly. Hashtag hourly. We'll draw them separate, 100 million, and then the normal one for, ooh, Leshex. And then the normal one for the other one. Uh, where are you, where are you? That should be okay. Or with this at 7,500. Regroup, regroup. One, two, three, four. One, come on, get in range, get in range, get in range, get in range, get in range. Two. There we go. Do you have to watch that tangling a little bit? Boop. Boop. Hashtag hourly, hashtag horde, get in on the two draws that are currently open. I will be doing both of them after this. Last starving, that's beautiful. One, two, three, four. The tangling just never had much health anyway. All right, see, I didn't have to use cap boosters there. The newts on those things are so far apart that you get some cap back anyway. So you can just turn your modules back on and you're fine. If you're even getting hit to begin with. Two, two, and two. No little ones to kill. That'll work. Get this guy next. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I mean, more or less, that's how my abyssals work. You should see what... Jim, Jimmy, did you see my video on me quad boxing? Because, I mean, that's only going to make it worse, not better. Don't worry, that's how it works. It's all right, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Grab that. What? 58 million? God damn it. Yeah, I've had that before. Uh, wait, are you less than minus 5.0? Because if you're less than minus 5.0, you actually have to grind them up a little bit. Uh, I think there's ones that you can, like, turn in tags to get it up. But that would be your only other option. Oh, my. Yes, please. Uh, you're not that close together, are you? Because that would be... Oh, my God. Look at that. Strike Lance? Yes, please. Oh, bad idea time. That snare caster actually has to die. I'm being silly and I shouldn't do it. Okay, I'm a little more comfortable now that that one guy's dead. Oh shit, they're not shooting you. They're shooting that guy. But they're not all shooting that guy. Fifteen and fifteen. It's just satisfying to watch them all melt like that sometimes. So you need to get that to under, and by under I mean like four, minus 4.9, minus 4.9. And then they won't show up right away, and then you can get the arc done. I had to do the same thing on this guy. It's a pain in the ass, but yours isn't too bad. Mine, I think, was like minus nine or something, because from Faction Warfare. Uh, oh, so Jesus. Those are terrible. I mean, the rooms are quick, but those are terrible. Also, I'm done the second room in six minutes. So I have 14 minutes left for the rest of this uh, tier 6. Which, to be fair, if I knew I was going to do it that quickly, I might have done one more. But I don't think I would have had time anyway. Now nah, i got 6 minutes left in my boosters. <laughs> oh my god, yes please. Okay, so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Almost feels like cheating at this point. Who wants to see a less than 10 minute tier 6? This one doesn't even have starving, guys. Ah. There we go. 
go. So one time in a corporation I was in, uh, people were running a lot of the tier two at the time because you get the, what was it, the destroyer and uh, battlecruiser books to fly the Kiki and the Drac out of them. And they were worth buckets of visk at the time. And uh, so one guy went into tier twos and he's like, hey, I ran up against two Leshix, two here, uh, and I couldn't kill them. And I'm like, what do, you, what do you mean you couldn't kill them? That's that's not a I can't kill it room in tier two. That is a thank you for the Leshix. May I have another, sir? Like he's like, no, no, they were they were repping too much. I couldn't kill them. I'm like, what's your DPS? And he's like, 150. I'm like, get the hell out of the abyss. You should not be in tier two. And I looked it over. He was using the wrong missile types. He didn't have a bunch of skills. Like it's like, oh my god. What are you doing? This is an example of why you do not just hop into an abyssal and be like, I'm going to do this. It's like, eh, you can't. Uh, 227, that made up for the odd other couple that I got, and a decent amount of isk at that. Under, oh yeah, that's under 10. Activate gate, not you, sure, time, 9 minutes and 35 seconds. 9 minutes and 35 seconds, actually I'll do that. Approach, you can dock up, you can dock up. You can go open fleet hangar, stack that. What do we got? One, two, three. Copy that. Over to Eve Prazel, paste. So about uh, 2.4 billion in two hours. Of course, that's minus a bunch of filaments, I'm aware. But, uh, I mean, still nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. If I didn't like filaments that much and I wanted to switch them around, I wouldn't have to rebuy them. Okay, so. Reload you right quick. Let's get that docked up. We're going to do the hourly first. Eh, where are you? Close the hourly. Announce is closed. Draw the winner. Announce the winner. Rock no. Look at you. Three. Booga, go hashtag whore to get in the other draw. Copy Rockno over to uh, this character. And let's go fleet paste on link character. Give 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now I'm hoping I don't have to pay you guys any more than a billion for the last draw. So let's give you 1, 2, 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a billion isk there. And archive that one over to this one. <coughs> and we are going to go scene two. Close this up. Announce that it's closed. Draw the winner. Partisan Libertas, congratulations on winning the last draw of the night. Let's go copy this. IGS paste. There's that. Copy that. See if he's here. If you are, ha ha, you are here. You didn't have to be here. It's just helpful that you are. So, give me a quick minute to count up what I got for cards here. So, let's move things around a little bit here. Throw this up here. There we go. Now you're a little lopsided. Maybe this side. That's a little bit better. Okay. No, I lied. We're going to throw it up on this box. It's literally a magic card box. There we go. You are after that card, which I'm going to take this, throw this here, 
do that. Aim the camera a little bit better. There we go. And give me a quick second here. I want to count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I need a number between one and twenty-four. This is the card you're looking for. Too much light. It is a plane, uh, a mythic planeswalker from a set of magic that I have. I'm gonna throw that in there. Number between one and twenty-four, please. And then you can tell me when to sh stop shuffling. I'm fairly happy with where it's at already that you wouldn't be able to tell where it is. And also the random of, you know, I see it and then I just finish up kind of takes care of the rest of that. And it's not going to be 23. <laughs> I know, right forever? Every single damn time. Okay, don't make me do this forever, Partisan. You have to tell me when to stop shuffling. There we go. Alright. 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Just give me one second. We're gonna set that there. Didn't do this right quick. There we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It was thirteen, so you don't get it. However, there's a price regardless of what you pick, so that's all right. Fourteen. And if it was a rare like that, that's still a billion. 15, 16, and 17 is an uncommon 250 million disc for you, my friend. This one goes over in the pile. We're down to 23 cards instead. Uh, let me go to this guy here. Paste. Auto link character. Give. 250. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There we go. I mean... It's definitely not bad. Uh, all right, so let me throw my beautiful face. Nope, that's not it. Beautiful face. Back up in the corner here. Uh, there's that. A little bit higher. There we go. Nope. Mm. Perfect. Okay, let me go see who is streaming. Who do we got? We got Contempo. I don't see that. Oh, no, he is on. All right, I'm going to uh, raid over to a nerdy Neanderthal. A nerdy Neanderthal. Uh, you guys have a wonderful night. He is a scrub that I enjoy uh, following, and uh, to be fair, he's the reason I have, like, 1.2 billion isk to give to you guys because he buys some of my uh, abyssal blueprints and whatnot. Uh, you guys have a great night. I will see you later. I do have to go get my stuff ready for bed and then go to bed because I have been running lightly. And there's nothing fun about running, but at the same time, I hated a little less than I have recently. So uh, I'm going to keep it up for a bit, see how it goes. It's not hurting my legs, oddly enough. I thought it would by now. Uh, and I will talk to you later. I'll be back Thursday. Fly fun. I'll see you later. Have a great night. Uh, I'm going to try to get some in over the weekend, and I'm going to throw this one up on YouTube pretty much right away. So I'll see you later. Fly fun, loose ships, it's all right. Have a great night, and see you then.